Grotek because he doesn't <laughs> okay. get Grotek. Like, Grotek has to turn all the way around to see him, so yep. he's pretty much pounded away. Is, is anyone grabbing the sixth glass, the extra that I left? His, his tail is sneaking. <laughs> Onto the table. Okay, we, we, we succeeded them. if they want a second. Lee's smiling and staring at the glass. There's, er, er. <laughs> there's some discussion and um, there's still some discussions on price and things. And it basically gets settled as this is like a sales point for the, the town and the caravan. And we'll teach them how to mix it. And we'll basically say, here's a way to mix this drink okay um excuse me for the 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 travel to the city both songrel the mongrel and lihida you will be representing your rep like your representative temples oh god send the christmas here but we brought alcohol <laughs> we brought and letters that explain everything <laughs> Would you like us to move the heavy cast for you? We can carry it for you. <laughs> Apparently the deal's already made or something. Like You're you're supposed to be providing samples. Okay, uh, we can right. do that. You're supposed to be providing samples, <laughs> and they're supposed to be used checking them for quality control. They should you're have sent a bard, but, <laughs> but that's fine. <laughs> Bard's busy being drunk. <laughs> oh, funny. Uh, cool. Alright, I'm going to take Songrel and Lihita, and we're going to go to the road. Oh, well, so Lihita's already here, so the other Lihita, we're going to just hide off in a bush. Does Songrel know how to handle animals? Songrel does know how to handle okay. animals. Good thing you're here, buddy. <laughs> Animals really don't like the way I smell. Maybe my voice or something. They always get jittery when I talk. Hey! The... <laughs> You're supposed to speak in a higher pitch when you talk to animals. It's less threatening that way. Okay. <laughs> nice yuck. His tail swats at your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid thing. <laughs> Okay, um, so you basically took a boat. The boat took you to uh, took you sort of around the isle, around the um, the peninsula, uh, a great distance. It was a a week on a boat, and then you've got a two week uh, inland journey uh, down a, a rather well. Are we going uh, into the trail. Jade Kingdom or Jade Kingdom? Yeah. Okay. Were we in the Jade Kingdom? I don't, I don't know where Piju is. Uh, yes, okay. you're you're basically going from. It's a very large kingdom. Got it. So you're going basically from one side of the kingdom to the other. Yeah, I just figured my language see might make sense. Yeah, lingua flotsam, giant Jade Kingdom, iron, uh, Jade tongue, iron tongue, dwarven, orcish. So it was all and, and orcish being on there. It also makes sense. Yep. So, so where did you, are you full work, half work? Uh, half. You come from way up north? North, west from here. Hmm. Um, you grow up in the Jade Kingdom or with the Akudians or? I grew up in the Jade Kingdom. Um, I was born in the north. Hmm. That, that part of the story is unpleasant. I think my people are from the Isle of Immense. Of the Immense. I think I, that's where giants live. Of course, giants, I think, roamed around everywhere. I don't know you, really snow for sure. You definitely are immense. <laughs> <laughs> Slaps his belly. <laughs> I try to be. Uh, at, at one point during the journey, you uh, the song girl uh, actually asked you to help him adjust the suspension in the wagon, yep. so that it 
stays more straight as you're, as you're sitting on it. <laughs> it's, it's fine. He was tired of being really high. <laughs> I'm pretty sure mutagen strength 30. Just... <laughs> sure glad you did come along. I really don't like wearing the yoke. Wearing... I'm not eating eggs. They're the yoke for the animals. If you didn't come along, I'd have to be pulling the wagon by myself. <laughs> the animals really don't like me. <laughs> that would be a difficult way of going about things. Short distance is not so bad. Okay. I give me a percentile roll as you're chatting along. <laughs> 42. 42. The answer to life, the universe, and everything. All right. Um, the animals seem spooked. Gee. <laughs> they didn't fart, though. Weird. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> He's himself. Maybe it's time for a pass. <laughs> uh, give me a um, uh, perception. A perception check, yeah. Oh, these not too bad at this. Twenty-four. Twenty-four. Uh, yeah, there's a a hissing sound coming from the uh, the side of the road. Uh, the the yaks don't want to come forward. We should stop. Something up ahead. He's gonna hop off the wagon. Okay, there are. You can see two really big lizards hidden in the woods, or hidden along the side of the road. One of them seems to be in a, a, a rector burnt, uh, a rector destroyed little house. The other one is between two rocks. They are making noises, which means that they are not like just sunning themselves. Lee's going to slam his mutagen. <laughs> okay. Uh, Songrel the mongrel uh, drinks a mutagen. <laughs> I didn't drink it last time, you know. Oh, you should have. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> <laughs> These lizards look big. I was getting suspicious when you kept just suddenly, oh, I'm thirsty again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you, you know at this point, Songrel the Mongrel is a rogue alchemist. Nice. And he was actually using a um, rogue trick to do the true strike. Okay, Lee's going to... Is this a wall? Like a, an old... uh, Yeah, this is a, a low stone wall. All right, Lee's going to hop up on the wall. <clears throat> okay. And quick draw uh, javelins. As you, hop, you you stop the cart and hop up on the wall, uh, initiative begins. Nice. See what these these two mofos can do. Uh, there's only three of us, so I'm going to roll d20s. Uh, Lee. Um, what's his name? Uh, Song girl. And the Lizards. Yeah, this song girl has a plus five. Okay, he got a one. He okay. got 19. <laughs> and what the lizards okay. get? Uh, the lizards. Uh, Here, I'll roll a d20 for them. Three. Uh, yeah, the lizards have a plus five. Hmm. Um, and then put other there sure. and they have a plus three uh oh uh lee goes first then it's other then it's lizards then it's song girl okay they look unfriendly is what you're saying yes okay lee is going to drink a a shield extract? And then is going to yeet a javelin? 
<laughs> from where he's standing at the one in the rocks over here. So Hurler adds 10 to the range for um, his ranged weapons. And uh, the range of javelins is 30. So I think I'm in second rage. Second rage increment. We're not going to rage. I don't think he's angry enough at this yet. Let me just go to the combat sheet and reset a few things. Uh, okay, we got it. Bab one, strength eight. Uh, it's a regular javelin. He's going to power attack. He's not raging. Mutagen is running. He doesn't have bomber's eye. Uh, second rage increment. So I think I'm at a plus eight. AC 20? Uh, yeah, it hits. Okay. Large javelins are D8. Strength, power attack, and mutagen makes that plus 12. Uh, 16 damage. Okay, wounds the lizard. It doesn't like you. It looks angry. Um, its neck frills up really big. All right. Other. Okay. Uh, Lee, you're flat-footed against the first attacks because you weren't aware that they were there. Okay. There's a series of arrows being shot at you because there was a bunch of dudes hiding over here no <laughs> good thing i drank that shield extract uh i don't think i have any abilities that make me not flat-footed okay they're basically in the first range increment um AC 9, AC 13, AC 12, and AC 11. So AC flat-footed is 16. Uh, you don't lose flat-footed because of monk. Like you keep your monk yep, bonus. You keep your wisdom. Yep. And then he's got a natural armor bonus of 3. Plus the shield spell would be flat-footed AC of 20. Oh, uh, mutagen, 22. Okay. All right. Oh. Hey. <laughs> They're taking <laughs> their second set of attacks. Waving his hands. There's a, bunch of, there's a bunch of angry bees flying around you. Uh, AC 16. Uh, no, longer no, no longer flat footed. His dex is only a uh, 12, so he's got an AC of uh, 23. 23 right now. Okay, uh, they shoot, they shoot. It's not working. Uh, they're gonna shoot your yaks with the last attacks. <laughs> they're in the bush. We might end up, we might end up with a yoke yet. <laughs> AC zero, AC six, AC minus two is a problem. So one yak was hit. Um, and there was a critical miss. Because Lord Rod's been brutal today. Uh, stunned. Is this a save or be stunned? Or is this, just uh, be this, is, this is a, a save. Save, yep. save against the AC? Yeah. Okay, yep. not stunned. Um, Falling branch or something. Uh, that's 1d8. 7 damage to the yak. Hey there, dummies! Okay. Additionally... Yeah, called them dummies. <laughs> you dum-dums. Stop uh, that! You can see a man sticking his head out here, and he is shooshing the, the lizards to come forward. Um, Stop that! Everyone stop! You're big a bunch of assholes. <laughs> uh, the lizards. All right. This lizard is slamming forward up to the yaks. Get oh. uh, Their speed. <clears throat> they move over the train with no issues. 
um, and they sort of rear up as they're as they're moving. While they're doing this, their speed increases to fifty. Oh, they're doing that fucking blizzardy <laughs> thing. Like the, 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 <laughs> the weird blizzardy thing. Stupid things. Um. Okay. Uh, okay. In, in normal effects of a charge. Okay, so this one is charging. I'm gonna. We're going to roll a d2. One is Lee. The other two is the Yak. It, it didn't... It's not smart enough to know that Lee was the one who attacked it. It's it's just... Yeah, I'm up on this wall, too. So, yeah, so they are uh, slamming in. I think they're short. Give me a second. They are short. Okay. They slam into the Yaks. They're both taking bites at the at the yaks themselves and the yaks need to make will saves because they were charged by big scary lizards uh, okay so bite on the yak Fargo, what are you doing ac 27 Ooh. bite on the yak ac 17 and i'm just gonna double check The yeah, axe ACs are 13. Okay. They are very, very easy to hit. Uh, and they just got chomped by big lizards for 2d6 plus 5. 10 damage on the first one, and 9 damage on the second. Ooh. So, 26 damage... I, I, I screwed that up. 16, 7, 17 damage, and 9. All right, the ox have 33 hit points. Just going to make a note. And it's not... Anyways, it, when, you, when you put your thing over the token, there's 33 total. When it gets to 33. Um, I know it's stupid the way I wrote it. Alright, uh, they have to make will saves now. Will saves are easy, but they're animals. Because <laughs> they're not trained for battle. So. The first Uruk makes it. The second Uruk doesn't. Or your ox. Um, stat block is using as Uruk. Okay. Uh, yeah, your your animal is, or one of the animals is scared and is trying to move away uh, on its turn, which I don't even know if we have the initiative right now. Now they're probably on Songrel's turn. Given the They'll turn. go with Songrel. Uh, okay, so that's the lizards. Songrel. Um, Songrel is going to, well... Do you need help with the men, or should I steady the animals? We can't lose the cart. Let's get rid of the lizards first. These men can't shoot with shit. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Let's see if they like fire. Uh, Songrel is going to start firebombing the giant lizard. Oh, he's an alchemist? Alchemist. Yeah. Uh, he's an alchemist. Alchemist, alchemist rogue. Cool. Okay, he's aiming at the back corner. Uh, actually, he'll aim at this one because this one is, is already hurt. He's going to throw three bombs. He's got five. Uh, he'll, he'll drink. He'll drink his mutagen and then throw a bomb. He's got rapid bombs, but he doesn't okay. have. Yeah. Because uh, I thought 11. fast bombs is a six level power. Uh, Might be eight. Then I might be wrong. Fast bomb is Alchemist 8. Wait, no, then he can throw one. He's throwing bombs at standards. So that means that he throws a Alchemist flask? He can throw an Alchemist flask and add his int to the damage. He throws an Alchemist flask. There we go. Uh, Touch AC 16. Doing 9 damage. Okay, and then I think the thing is on fire. And we'll take the D6 plus 5 the next round. Five and on fire. 
So it's either D6 or D6 plus 5. I'll have to double check. I think it's the whole five. thing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Does he have is... a power that allows him to avoid splash, though? Uh, he just throws Tar the back Target the back square? Okay. They're big. Yeah. All right. Um, the animals are... So the one is going to kick at the lizard. The other one is trying to go away. And it's not, is basically scared. So the one is going to gore. Natural one. Uh, AC 21 would have hit nice. the big lizard. Um, the other one, but it's it's done. It's 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 decided attacking is not the smart thing to do. And the other one is trying to run. Um, it's uncontrolled. And it's not meant for combat. Uh, it's going. It's tied to lots of things. <laughs> it's tied to lots of things. So it is going to. I'm going to. So on a one, it's going to try to run forward. On a two, it's going to try to back up. On a three, it's going to try to go to the side. Um. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, I guess on a four, it cowers. Or I could push into its buddy. Yeah. So we'll go forward. One, two, three, four. And then five is, is like, just sit there. Uh, okay, so it's it's actually pushing. It's the, the one who's trying to fight is actually getting crowded. And they're now in a, like, they're being pushed together, and they're like not even combative. Hey, and, stupid! Keep away from me! You're getting all clustered. Uh, all right. So your horse, your your horses, your oxen are not. <clears throat> they're not war oxen. Yep. Uh, Lee. All right. Uh, on this wall, am I getting a plus one from above? Uh, against the lizards, yes. Okay. Cool. And are they threatening me from this? Uh... Uh, nope. They are short. Awesome. So let's just treat that as an ins. Okay. And then I'm going to rage. All right. Uh, with quick draw, I'm going to flurry javelins at the lizards. Because okay. far strike monk flurry. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, and you've got a back square to target. You don't need precise shot. Yep. But uh, yeah, I don't have precise shot. Yep. Right. So let's uh, flurry with the javelins. Uh, two at 1d20 plus 12, including the plus one from above and the minus one for flurry and minus one for the power attack. AC 17 and AC 24. Uh, the 24 hits for sure, and the 17 missed by one. Hmm. Just check his powers for a second. Okay. Okay. So let's do damage. D8 plus 14. 20 damage on the nearest lizard. Holy smokes, that lizard is bloodied. Where? Bloodied. Oh no. It, it's a hardy lizard. <laughs> Uh, okay. We're going to quick draw Meteor, which is my um, Lucerne Hammer, my oversized Lucerne Hammer. Okay. And we're going to attack, like, attack it from here. Just try to club it to death. <laughs> yep. So Meteor is normally at a plus nine with power attack. Minus five for secondary, plus four for the buffs, plus one from above. Um, that's right. Bam! Oh, I see 12. That's not good. Uh, no, no. Okay, so that was first attack, second attack. I'm now armed. All these guys have bows in their hands, huh? Mm -hmm. Where is my movement? 
<laughs> 30 base. Uh, Hurler gave up fast movement. And then I'm not high enough level monk for more movement or something gave up there. Okay. I'm going to... Let's try to attack the lizard again. Is there enough space here for me to hop down and take cover behind the wall from the archers? Not with the animals currently not okay. being out of their kind of... If I move... There you can, for okay. sure. So I'm going to move to here um, and kind of crouch down for cover. Okay. All right. Um, top of the round. Or it's not top of the round. Other. All right. Uh, well, let's see what we can do to you. You're getting a spell cast on you. Who's casting? Guy in the bushes? The guy in the bushes. <laughs> you can't see me. I'm in the bushes. <laughs> uh, All right. Uh, what are we going to do? Super duper color spray. <laughs> super duper color spray. Wow. He's a monk. He should be able to handle a color yeah, spray. Yeah, he's, he's got a decent will save. Need how the backstories are probing for all the skill weaknesses and save weaknesses of the. Yeah, I learned about Kurt. Yep. Uh, okay. The um, several of your uh, your wagon wheels, like the spokes within your wagon wheels, all bend. Err. Um, err. What is one of the wheels is basically inoperable right now. Like the wagon's not going to move very well. You got precious cargo in there, you asshole. You, you see him dash? Yeah, he came forward to cast yep. the spell. Okay. I see you. You wouldn't dare follow. It would be to your doom. Run and leave your precious cargo. The boys are thirsty. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yes, do what he says. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bunch of arrows getting whipped out. <laughs> um, all right, cover Fleeta with all with his spells running. Uh, is AC 27. Okay, they're shooting at your ox, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Make me carry the fucking wagon <laughs> to market. <laughs> uh, hit, hit, hit. You bastard! This is gonna be dragging the wagon if I get my hands on you. Okay, <laughs> the uh, one of your oxen is down. The fighty one. The one that's fighting. <sighs> okay. Okay, and the one that's freaking out—it's freaking out even further now. Uh, there. Shooting at it. Uh, hit, hit, three hits. Okay, that ox is wounded. Um, and then they're taking their last action to move back into the wood, deeper into the woods. Bastards. <laughs> <laughs> I am short range earlier. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be all your life. Oh, leaving that guy exposed. They seem to. They are. Yeah, there's a barrel on your wagon, but there are many things that are packaged in barrels. But yep. maybe it's a coincidence. Okay, the lizards. Uh, the one lizard burns. Mm -hmm. uh, 
so it 1d6 plus 5 6 damage and then I think it just goes out because it was an alchemist fire yep oh 51 damage on the lizard yeah this lizard bites the ox that's on the ground and is dragging it away or is trying to it basically gets to here and then like the wagon's kind of like lurching forward a little bit uh, it's uh, the ox here. Uh, it's at, yeah, we actually need to care about this. It's at thirty-eight damage. Or let me cancel. Seventeen. So it's at thirty-seven damage. So it's in the negatives. Uh, the lizard pulling on it does one extra damage. Thirty-eight damage. The lizard pulls and like reefs on a little bit. He's trying to get it off, um, and that does uh, basically lizard bite without strength, like just the teeth sort of shredding as he's trying to get it to come off. Uh, he's not specifically trying to kill it. He's just trying to bring it with him, and he's a big stupid animal. Uh, so forty-five out of thirty-three, and the con of these animals is 17. Uh, so it's still alive. <laughs> so the one, this one that's down and being dragged around is still alive. Yep. Uh, this giant lizard is stepping forward and is attacking the other ox. Careful, uh, Zongro. I see it. I see it. Oh, oh God, they've got big mouths. Um, it is going to bite. It has bite tail as options. Uh, it's going to bite the ox and also try to pull it so the, the wagon might get interestingly interacted with. We see 23, 14 damage. So it goes unconscious, and the two they actually spent an action pulling together. So the whole this whole mess got dragged, and the wagon with the broken wheel is being dragged by two giant lizards pulling the oxen. Uh, I'm going to roll a D, like a reflex save for the wagon. It's basically uh, it fails on a two. Tipped on its side. <laughs> so the the wagon is the wagon is tipped over. Stay prone. And I'll roll a fort save for the goods. The goods are fine. The the, the big hardy barrels can take a bit of a shit kicking and just the wagon tipping over slowly. Uh the mongrel is also fine. He he <laughs> he's he's now over here. It's the, the wagon tipped and he's basically ninja rolled up to the middle of the few or the middle of the plane yep ah, it is ah. <laughs> there's cheering from the from the bandits okay uh, all right songrel and the oxen uh this ox bleeds Their ox bleeds. Uh, Songrel. Uh, I think he's actually more concerned about the. He's gonna blow up this lizard, I think, nice. and then run. <laughs> Fuck you, lizard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, and I think he's gonna, he's gonna aim here which might kill this ox but he splashes this lizard yeah actually if he, if he throws here yeah it splashes this lizard yeah unless he has um um no called there's a discovery for that okay he touches the lizard precise bombs he does 2d6 plus 6 12 damage with the bomb 
It incapacitates this lizard. Then he does min damage against the... Um, uh, the the lizard's reflex save is actually quite good. Um, the lizard made his reflex save, mm. so he avoids it, and then this ox dies. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Yoke for leader, <laughs> leader. <laughs> Uh, and then the song girl, the mongrel is, is scooting yeah, cover, around. Cover me on the wagon. <laughs> uh, we have a problem, Lee. Don't worry, we need to. The lizard's just gonna eat the ox. They're done for. You what? said you could, you said you could pull the oak, right? <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> All right, Lehita. Slams his true strike potion, hops up onto the wall with a five foot step. <laughs> Uh, quick draws, which is switching. So a quick draws cloud piercer, which is his um, masterwork longsword. Oh, we're not in Shikigami yet. Um... You do a dance on the on the. <laughs> uh, do we want to take out the lizard, or do we want to take out this guy, this dude? It's I... so from here. Can I target the lizard? Does he have cover? Uh, on the wagon. The, the wagon is tipped. It it's a stupid lizard. I don't think it like it. You like no. You have cover okay. from it, but it doesn't okay. have cover from you. All right. Instead, I'm going to save my true strike. I'm going to slam a bomber's eye, and I will um, flurry two javelins into the lizard. AC 23 and AC 23. Yeah. Okay, it takes 42 points of damage from the two javelins. Oh, that lizard is not happy with the world. That's power attacking, flurrying, rage, mutagen. That is massive. <laughs> <laughs> oh! It, 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 sevens on the D8s. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> the two javelins basically go flying at it. It's still hey, two, up, huh? Massive spears uh, slam into the. Hey, yeah, that one wasn't hurt yet. Okay. Um. So I standard action drank, and then I flurried throw. So I'm just gonna stay behind cover, behind the wall here. Oh, I'll okay. fr I'll free action my pole arm back out now. So just in case somebody stupidly comes running towards us. Get okay. Away cool quick draw for the win got a boy got a boy lee others uh okay <laughs> you gotta sleep sometime <laughs> uh okay the lizards um the others there's a whistle this lizard Shakes it actually shakes its head grumpily. Starts to back off. It moves much slower, backing off. Back into the spot. On. Actually, it's gonna go coming up to the man. Yeah, the man is moving back. We're gonna go get them. Fuck those guys. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, Songrel drinks an expeditious retreat. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he readies to move with Lihita. Don't worry, I'll follow. some left <sighs> okay Lee's gonna move out to here okay 
stand on the rock instead. We'll move on to the rocks. We hop on the rocks and like a dainty, the dainty giant monkey is. Yep. Uh, he's going to flurry, power attack, rage into the giant lizard. Okay. <laughs> Stupid lizards. <laughs> AC 29 and AC 21. Right. The big meaty sacks. <laughs> 2d8 plus 28 damage. So another 40 damage. Okay, it's straight up dead. Slurry <laughs> okay. uh, dragons! And then he's got a... He moved. He flurried. He's going to move again in the bushes, going after them. He's going to take cover behind the behind the lizard. And now his pole arm's out. Okay. And Songrel is keeping up with you. Okay. <laughs> we slew your dragons! Come out and surrender! I don't know if they want to surrender. We'll give you beer. Uh, give me a charisma check. <laughs> We've got beer. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. Get them drunk, leave them the side of the road tied up for the law. Five. <laughs> don't understand uh, what he's saying. Okay. The um. All right. The bandits are all going to sh shoot at you once and then move away. Okay. Uh, you're taking cover. The song girl isn't. They're going to shoot at him. Oh, bastard. Uh, AC 26 hits. For one damage. He absorbs it. Good boy. <laughs> he flicked his <laughs> <pictures. laughs> yes. uh, The cowled man casts a spell on you. No, not color spray. <laughs> Uh, no, all of the grasses around you start to clap, uh, or grass burn. Uh, uh, he is yelling at the grass. Uh, okay, reflex saves. Is that going up? Bad touch, bad touch. <laughs> reflex, huh? Reflex saves. Somehow you found the heat is worse. Save. <laughs> he's a ranged guy. He should be good at that. No, he's strength <laughs> range. Uh, 14. Uh, okay, Lee, Lee, you're entangled. Oh, am I stuck? Uh, yeah, you're, you're stuck. Oh, fuck this stuff. <laughs> hey, hey! Uh oh. Uh, uh, so it's three plus seven is plus ten. You're both stuck. He rolled poopy, poopy doopy. <laughs> yeah, this uh, we're captured. <laughs> I think we end up on a boat. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, what I'm going to say is, they used that distraction to get moving. Yep. Enough to call fair escape from this chunk of the encounter, and we'll pick this up again because. This is not enough to capture Lehida. If Lehida doesn't want to go, there's not necessarily enough man here to just carry him. Well, they got to get through my AC, my deflect arrows, uh, and then 40 damage around from a flurry with javelins. <laughs> it's, it's <a> little rough. <laughs> Now, eventually Hopefully those things... The, the, so, bomber, the thing. Bomber's Eye runs out in rounds, right? So, there's, yep. there's only a couple more rounds of Bomber's Eye. So, I'm going to mark that down on the... Uh, Combat sheet? Yeah. Yeah. And then Rage eventually drops out. His Rage will end... I think he started Raging right away. Uh, no, the, the second round is when he started Raging. So, Combat Sheet... We are in the 
fourth round. So he's used three rounds of rage. I can keep track of that on myself. So he's got five more rounds of rage, two more rounds of bomber's eye, and then you know some of his bonuses start dropping. But, no, they they need much more meat than that. No, two lizards straight at Lee with no oxen for them to get distracted by. That's you know mm -hmm. that's bad. Now Lee's got some punch. He is missing a hit die though. How many hit points does he have? These are these are like I'm probing for weaknesses. Twenty six. <laughs> yeah, it's not the. I would have I would have whacked you with twenty six damage without even blinking, thinking that he would have fifty hit points. Because I look at the I look at the build and go, oh, he must have like a bunch of monster hit dice. No, there's no monster hit dice. Uh, the he's, he's Ogrekin, the Ogrekin's the template. Yeah, and half yeah, giants is a standard template. Race. template. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's one of those people who are like, I want Mythic! <laughs> to pay off the template, for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh. Uh, this is super fun. <laughs> I like how his backstory was super happy <laughs> and industrious. And there, I, there was like one grumpy dwarf there. I'm like, oh, I think there's something up here. But nope, he's just, he's just a grumpy dwarf. Yep. Oh no, oh no, they're the, the crazy monkey folk. Nope, they're just your cool neighbors. They're just your neighbors, they, you know. <laughs> it's, not everybody has the same backstory. They run the lick bow, you run the beer store. There's there, there's a synergy and a, and a slight rivalry. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're, they're much less um, doom and gloom than fucking black dogs. He's trying to save the village while they're ransacking the, the temple. Oh, that, that I color. chose wrong. <laughs> no, no, you're never gonna get a get to make a choice again. <laughs> yeah, I screwed up, guy. <laughs> I screwed up. Yeah, well, we're <laughs> enough of that. No, Lee Hida and Black Dog are definitely two different, <laughs> two different sorts. The lawful monks showed up. Yeah, did they really though? <laughs> I grew up in a temple. I grew up in a temple. <laughs> Lee's so temple you feels like played, yeah. kids. <laughs> played darts and made beer. <laughs> I punched things and swam till everybody died. <laughs> Lee knows how to punch. I think they still get yeah, they still get improved on arm strike. But um, I'm getting texts from my wife. Can you please stop laughing and come to bed? <laughs> quick draw is awesome. Uh, it does. It, it's really it, strong in this. Yep. Especially since also is quick stone in this in this setup. Yeah, because it's a pointer, right? Not yep. a. Uh, we need a name for tonight's game. It's like, how do you... The Brothers events? Um, like, that's the connection between the two. Yeah, so... The Blood of Giants? Blood of Giants. There's a lot of Blood of Giants in this session. Yeah, there are a lot of people with giant ancestry, right? Like, yep. Um, the blood of giants. That's good. Well, all the, all the people on the boat, if they were all angry, vengeance-driven monsters. It would, you have a very it would be a very bad boat <laughs> it would be a very very different pirate crew i think with lee looking for special ingredients and wanting to see the world <laughs> making beer um is going to be a different monk than some balance than black dog that black dog on the conan the Conan the Barbarian Vengeance Quest. Have you seen snakes? You know, like, have you seen wolves? Have you seen, have you seen wolves? <laughs> Two uh, wolves. <laughs> Two wolves. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a, a, a wolf Ouroboros. A uh, wolf eating its own tail? Yeah. That's cool. That's awesome. Uh, good stuff. This is hilariously fun. And I can't wait for their... Uh, their actual piratey adventure together. That that is one mean boat for any oh, to be. Oh, I, I have to. 
part of this is me figuring out how hard things need to be. Because I could throw stupid at you and be like, hey, that's part of your backstory. You got your ass kicked. <laughs> Dude, flick you <laughs> like a dick off. <laughs> like, there was a couple, like, I had expected there to be several more encounters and Black Dogs thing. And then it was like, no, oh, it's kind of weird. Just that, nope. <laughs> it was a safer suck spell and you sucked. <laughs> Yeah, had it gone a little different, like I hit the, we two we two action get the alchemist, and then we're in a fight again that, you know, we can manage. Yep. Yeah, I, I didn't realize the alchemist was also a sorcerer. So, yep, undone by a first level spell. <laughs> first level yeah, spell yeah. boosted by our new spell casting rules. So, um, yes, well, yeah, without the new spell casting rules, I think. Uh... I would have still failed. I rolled a nat one. But. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you would have failed for sure. Um, but no, she was getting it just just for Marty's. She was getting at least a plus three for the new spell casting rules on her on her color spray. So, yeah, I don't know how to. That's going to be one gaping weakness for Black Dog's build. It's like, oh no, he's screwed up. <laughs> get the save item always put protection from evil on him you know like, like that's gonna be it oh no the chaos pirates are here <laughs> right we are the ship of neutrality <laughs> <laughs> well Join sun, sun woo waves. after so sun woo i know mark with gatano gatano is a neutral character because he's a yeah. he's a compulsionist he, he um, doesn't he doesn't like having his entire build being negated by a first circle spell, I understand. Yeah. yeah. But what Sun Wu wants to do, because Sun Wu's got screwed over by Katano, is research <laughs> protection from neutral. Uh, I want to not be screwed by you. <laughs> do you have neutral to your alignment? Yes. Well, I don't care if it's a second level spell, you'd still cast it. Yep. Uh, there's. I think there's one in the game that does that, but it's like the like the neutral something or other, but it's like the high level, the one round per level combat spell. Yeah. Um, but no, Sun Wu is going to remember, like going to research yeah. that spell because of Gatana. And it's called protection from Gatana. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to watch Gatana like cast it on other people when he doesn't want to do chores and shit and go, Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> to play that game. <laughs> <laughs> and just save it like don't nope. <laughs> just yeah, yeah. don't worry Mark watches the VODs <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, funny but no a plus one will save is a problem but your yep. first level so or your third level it's fine a third level fighter with a shit whiz, like how much wisdom will always, will be plus one yeah yeah, yeah. Yep. I need to go. Good night. Okay. Uh, Good this night. Is, uh, GG. The Blood of Giants is in the books for those watching on YouTube, which is where this video will appear. Thanks for your support for those hanging out in the channel with us tonight on an odd night, a Sunday night. It's good seeing you folks here. And as always, we enjoy the. I hope we we, ugh, we hope you enjoy this as much as we do. Happy Family Day, President's Day. I don't know whatever the hell day it is. For yes. You have a good holiday if you have it off. If not, just uh, take it easy. And we'll see you later this week sometime. Peace. Have a good night. Mm. GG